It's Pastor David, and I'm here for the Thursday at 3, and today I have a very special guest, someone I've grown quite fond of and have great appreciation for, Sina Gilman, and she is currently our, what are you, what's, what's, I'm a jack of all trades. Um, I'm Pastor Rachel's assistant. There you I'm go. I'm the care ministry coordinator and anything else that needs to be done. Absolutely a go-to person. That's why I kind of stumbled on that title. I'm not even <laughs> sure. The job has kind of evolved over time. <laughs> yes. Certainly part of the central hub of our church and the pastoral office. And so uh, very, very grateful for you, Sina. And today... And we're going to talk a little bit about two, two bits of change going on in your life or transition going on in your life these days. First, uh, how are you? Tell us what's been happening in your life recently with a little storm named Ian. Oh, Ian, you know, much like uh, I'm, I'm sure the storm affected many of you. Um, unfortunately, I think we got a flash flood in our yeah. front yard that traveled through the streets and up into our home oh. and it affected I think it was every single wall except for one small bathroom wall in oh, our really? home yeah. the flooring the walls the furniture I mean all of it so um yeah it's been very life-changing in a very drastic and quick way yeah devastating I mean uh, it's, yeah. it's got on your furniture and got on all the things that were you know books and everything to think about how that just if I remember the story you kind of woke up and there was water on the floor yes yes so. yes and it came so quick and um, we we actually squeegeed water out of our house for three oh. hours before we even kind of stopped to to get our bearings oh goodness, oh, goodness. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry you're going through that uh what has happened since you had water in your house? Well, our amazing church family at First United Methodist Church Winter Park swooped in literally to save the day. Um, we had so many people come over last weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, to help us pack our stuff, to help us strategize because we were shell-shocked. We didn't even know what to do next. Um, just amazing people help us make next steps and guide us and and literally rip out all the damaged walls all the damaged floors all of the damaged furniture and and help us find we've been couch surfing people have offered their homes hotels um go i mean people have just been amazing Oh, that's that's great. I loved it. I was uh, I was there among other days on Sunday, and we had I think had over sixty volunteers from our church that were there. So that was wonderful. It's been great to interact with your husband Finn, and I know you have three children, and so yes. uh, it's been really impactful on them. And so, and it's it's a journey that's going to continue, right? This is not something that you fix in a day. Uh, your house is currently drying out. And mm -hmm. uh, then there's the steps to kind of put it back together and yes. to help kind of fund some of that. And so we're going to walk with you, but uh, certainly um, celebrate our family for for stepping into oh, that. Yes. So that's just, and I see you're in the car. I see you're actually moving from one place to another. That's part of the life yes. after a major hurricane. So, uh, and in all spite of that, you've continued to be someone that's reached out to people in our church and to help with some of your work here. So I'm just kind of amazed at that. So thank you. So that's only part of the, so the first of some transition in your life. Something else is happening in your life. Why don't you tell us about an opportunity that has come your way in terms of employment? Yes, I have been offered a position through Orange County government mm -hmm. to work in their neighborhood services division. That's going to be supporting the community and neighborhoods in Orange County, specifically doing um, project coordination with their grant program for neighborhoods, looking mm -hmm. to beautify their streets and their neighborhoods. That's fantastic. And, and as I understand yeah. it, uh, you have many talents. This is really more in line with your training and kind of, yes. kind of the next step in your career, this opportunity for you to, to do this kind of work that you were trained and passionate about. Is that, am I understanding that correct? Yes, I actually, I got my bachelor's degree in social work and um, that's always been what I felt my calling was. And I've been able to utilize that in my role yeah. here at First United Methodist Church, but um for whatever reason, um, I'm walking through this door now, but it's yeah. it's going to pair nicely because the partnerships we have with um, Winter Park Neighborhood Center are through yeah. the county. And so these are people that our church is already working with, and I can continue oh, that work. That's great. That's great. Well, I, 
I really appreciate uh, your presence here at our church on staff and the work that you've done to to lead and care for so many and to be part of the team and your faith and and even uh, your encouragement. You have a gift of encouragement of reaching out to people. And so I uh, just thank you for sharing that. And and so um, this will take place next week, I believe. And you're ending up here next week. And yeah. what are some of the things that you have done while on staff here? What, what has been your area of focus? I think the greatest area, um, my most proud area and the area that I've grown the most and seen the most growth in our church community is just establishing um, a grief support system mm -hmm. and um, services around our funerals and memorial services. It's just been um, an honor and a blessing to be able to serve everybody at our church in their time of need. And, and with Grief Share just launching, it really puts us in a good spot, I think, to to really support folks who had to do the pandemic without hmm. without community. Yeah, the pandemic really became kind of an agent of change. We, you know, we we broadened the participation. And so we we meet every week as pastors and, and other staff involved in the pastoral care area. And we walk through our list. And then of course we have several dozen lay ministers who visit with people and a grief share class is led by lay leaders and we have mm -hmm. parish hall ministry among so many others. So it really has you know kind of exponentially grown. And I'm just so grateful for your leadership in that you lead that kind of session and and kind of become the hub and central connector of that and so we're gonna we're gonna have to work to figure out how we fill that and uh, we will be we will be uh working towards re replacing that um uh, i know that during this season it's a time of transition in the office this is for folks listening we had jen hatchet who is also a pastor's assistant pastors philip is has also received extensive hurricane damage in her house from flooding and uh so she's been focused on that and so in the meantime uh as you've called cena reach out to denise myers my assistant and we'll work work through this as we move to the next steps but uh it's with with sorrow that you're leaving cena but with gratitude for you and certainly a fan of you and and want to celebrate this next step in your process and your calling uh for you and i look forward to really being in church with you in the coming yeah. weeks and continuing that relationship. So as you prepare to kind of move on to the next grader, uh, what's one thing you would want our church family to know uh, as, you, as you take this next step? Yeah, I would want you all to know how gifted you are at loving one another and serving one another and reaching out um, to the community. I've served in other churches before and um, I, I know the challenges that life can face. But something that I have seen is your ability to to reach out in the greatest moments of pain and sorrow and hold one another up. And that is a rare and beautiful gift. You guys are the hands and feet of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's that's lovely. Thank you for sharing that. I'm really grateful for that. Well, Sina, thank you. And uh, good luck in your latest couch move. And uh, we'll <laughs> continue to be at work with you uh, as you get that house back up and running. And uh, just uh, please, please go with our love and our blessing. As, I love you uh, guys. Makes it love you too. Yeah. So. All right. Thanks so much. And we'll see folks Thank in church. You. Bye.